Hey, David, Karen, Josh, and Nick at Presence Videography. Thanks for joining us on this spectacular biking adventure. Vancouver, Canada is one of our favorite cities for biking. With spectacular scenery, lots of rental options, cool places to stop and rest, or get something to eat, there's a lot to like. In this video, we'll share some beautiful highlights of our trip. We'll show you the route that we followed with some spectacular aerial maps, and we'll share some great tips throughout on how to maximize your biking trip in Vancouver. We also have a full-length video of this trip, which I'd highly recommend you check out. I'll put a link in the description. This video is in 4K ultra high definition, so check your viewing settings or 4K to make sure you see the best quality. Enjoy! There are lots of bike rental places on Denman Street. From there we went anti-clockwise around Stanley Park, under Lionsgate Bridge, along to English Bay. We rented e-bikes and it took us about four hours at a relaxed pace to do this round trip. We went around False Creek, past Science World, past Granville Island, visiting Kitsilano Beach, pausing for dinner at Jericho Beach, and finally biking right out to Spanish Banks. In part one, we rode from Denman Street, around Cole Harbor, to Brockton Point. On this part of our trip, we especially loved the spectacular views of Vancouver City skyline. Part two of our trip took us from Brockton Point along the east side of Stanley Park to Lionsgate Bridge. We loved the beautiful views of North Vancouver and the mountains from this part of the trip. Part three of our trip went from Lionsgate Bridge around the north side of Stanley Park to Third Beach. We loved the sandy beaches and views of West Vancouver from this part of our bike ride. On the fourth part of our journey, we rode from Third Beach around the west side of Stanley Park to English Bay. Highlights for us were the beautiful seawall, Second Beach, the Sylvia Hotel where we were staying, and English Bay Beach. In part five, we went from English Bay Beach, around False Creek, all the way down to Science World. We loved the great dedicated bike paths, the waterfront ride around False Creek, the cool residential buildings and parks, and Science World. Part 6 of our trip took us from Science World along the south side of False Creek up to Kitsilano Beach. Our favorite things on this part were False Creek, views of the Vancouver skyline from the south side, and of course Kitsilano Beach. In Part 7 of our trip we rode from Kitsilano Beach to Jericho Beach. We enjoyed riding through the Kitsilano waterfront suburbs and having a picnic dinner at the beautiful Big Jericho Beach. Part 8 of our ride took us from Jericho Beach to Spanish Banks Beach. We loved riding along the beach, from Jericho Beach, past La Carna Beach, and all the way to Spanish Banks Beach. And we were treated with spectacular views of Vancouver from Spanish Banks.
On part 9 of our trip, we doubled back past Jericho Beach and Kitsilano Beach and then branched off to Granville Island. We loved Granville Island, and the short ferry ride across False Creek with our bikes was fun. final leg of our bike tour, we took a short ferry ride across False Creek, rode up along English Bay, and then over to Denman Street where we returned our e-bikes. The ferry ride was fun and cost $4.50 per person with bike. English Bay was beautiful with the sun getting lower and approaching sunset. Thanks for watching. What a great trip this was. We all loved it. Definitely a highlight on our visit and the best way to see Vancouver without having to worry about traffic and parking. This trip took us four to five hours to complete at a relaxed pace, stopping for sightseeing and our picnic dinner. The e-bikes cost about $50 per person for this time. We got the Joy 26 e-bikes and they were great with lots of power. We ran them mostly at power levels one and two out of five and the batteries all lasted well for this time, and they were at about 25% battery power left when we returned them. We'd love your support if you want to give us a thumbs up, and we also have the full-length video of our bike trip published on our channel. Along with many other great adventures in the Pacific Northwest, be sure to subscribe and we'll notify you as we release new videos. Thanks, bye for now.